Thursday, June 7th, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at Fissure 8, the main fissure. It's been erupting for many days now, in fact, weeks. Um, the question has come up multiple times, is this forming a new crater and a new dome? Basically, is Kilauea setting up shop now down near Leilani Estates, actually in Leilani Estates? And I don't know, it's too early to tell. Um, it probably has a lot to do with how long this thing erupts. If you look historically, you can tell that's probably how these domes form. They started out as fissures. This is Pu'o'u, and it's since collapsed. It is no longer uh, at least holding lava. I think most of the lava has left this structure, but I would say more than likely that's how it formed. And you can see a lot of lava built the dome that made the structure. That's what's going on over here. And you can see it is starting to take shape. I don't know the exact dimensions. There is a new video that was posted by the USGS from yesterday morning. It's right here. We'll take a quick look at it. You can see Fissure 8 um, is starting to turn into a at least a small dome. And it's got a crater. And the lava is flowing out of there almost like water. Look at that absolutely incredible and that extends for many miles and that is not showing any signs of letting up some days it's uh, taller than others with regard to the fountains but I think the overall output is generally the same unprecedented event right here you'll see the uh, Puna geothermal power plant and you can let me pause this real quick you can see lava flows went behind it and in front of it but spared the power plant it's still flowing near the power plant but right now it doesn't seem to be uh, headed that direction it's made its way to the ocean though as you'll see in this video uh, the flow is very quick like I said it's almost moving like water look at that it's more like a lava flood just incredible really is it's changed the big island forever now we're coming up on the video part where it enters the ocean at Kapoho Bay right there that's a towering steam plume 630 yesterday morning incredible event that's not showing any signs of slowing down at this moment neither are the earthquakes that's at the summit of Kilauea and right now the global total is 3874 with the bulk of those earthquakes being right there on the big island near the summit of Kilauea so they've actually picked up they were down to 3600 and change now they're at 3800 and change almost 3900 they've been over 4,000 and it seems like when they start to peak then we'll see a bigger earthquake in the five to I haven't seen any in the six range yet but we've seen two or three in the five range and they're expecting more of those in fact that's what they said yesterday at their um, interview and in their meeting they had yesterday afternoon they expect them now pretty much on a or at least on a 24-hour basis kind of is what they implied but you know with again with these it's it's very unpredictable you can kind of go off of trends and that's what they were basically basing it on trends when it starts trending in the threes when you see multiple threes usually that's a precursor to a five or a 5.2 or 5.6 so a lot of activity still coming from Kilauea not showing any signs of slowing down at this point live stream camera here um, from the USGS at the summit of uh, Mount Kilauea also Ikai Kamarzo, you guys know I've been following him since day one, since the very first fissure back on the 1st of May, pretty much. May, uh, May 1st, May 2nd. We've even given him a slot at the website for daily updates through his Facebook page. They've since created a YouTube channel now. Um, a lot of people use YouTube and their uh, updates that they do every day. Akaika, uh, Malika, and John, along with Philip Ong, they do daily updates they're on the big island in fact they live on the big island so they see a lot of things from a uh, first-hand perspective and they share that perspective 
through a daily update. So it's a good source of information, and they're good people. So subscribe to their YouTube channel. You'll find the link to this YouTube channel below in the description box. Right now, guys, it's too early to tell if this is going to turn into a new crater. Is uh, Kilauea moving down into Leilani Estates? I don't know. It's way too early to tell. But right now, there's definitely a mini version forming as I do this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.